Good morning, my friends. Welcome back. Got some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am definitely not addicted to this game. Um, <laughs> I'm just having a lot of fun with it. I'm just enjoying it a lot. And uh, I advanced. I did a good amount of stuff in my off time. I think we're about uh, one or two days. Uh, I think we're on the day of the mission to face Lord Lonato. So, uh, Marion also wants to speak with us. I'm sure this won't be depressing. Um, Professor? There's something I need to say. Um, I just re I think my thing is... Yeah, one sec. I think my game capture is fucked up. Because it seems delayed. Should be able to fix that pretty easily. Yep, there we go. Thank you. How should I put this? I don't seem to be getting along with everyone. I don't contribute much either. Am I a nuisance to you, Professor? If so, I'll leave. Of course, my adopted father may not understand. But if I must... Oh, my adoptive father is one of the new nobles of the Alliance. His territory is to the north. He was a distant relative who took me in after my parents vanished. He's blessed with great drive and ambition. Some may go so far as to call it avarice. He wishes to marry me off to a powerful noble. That's why he sent me to the Academy. If I left now, I'm sure he'd have a strong opinion about it. Ah, oh, sorry. I strayed away from the topic. I'm not good at telling stories, either. Ah, good. I'm glad. So, as I was saying, are you sure I'm not bothering you, Professor? Oh, I'm so grateful to hear you say that. What I'm trying to say is, you should keep your distance. I'm more trouble than I'm worth. You only say that because you don't know the real me. I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm really secretly a murder. Uh, my support level is now B. I didn't know it was... Huh. We must have, uh... I don't remember hitting C, but cool. Nice. That means we're getting closer and closer to A. Actually, I think that's B. I don't think you can get A until, um, post-war, so we're done with Marion. Interesting. It's not- we're not even done with the first month and we already maxed out somebody. It's kind of crazy. You have allies who can take intermediate exams. Good that you brought that up, because I was going to bring this up. While I was doing my grinding, uh, I did some battles, pretty much. And, uh, as you can see, we have <laughs> literally everybody but Hoppy and Bernie are able to take a thing, so... See what we got here. Do myself first. Not gonna do mercenary, because it's kinda boring and we've done it already. It would be cool to do cavalier. Make ourselves into a rider. At the same time, I like having the ability to heal. Having the ability to heal is a really nice thing, so. Um Yeah. The only reason we can't do Dark Mage is we don't have a dark seal. Yeah. Okay. So I guess in this case we could do... Yeah, I think we will do Cavalier. Be kind of cool to have a rider really early on. Benefits of New, new Game Pops. Plus. Oh, beautiful New Game Plus. Uh, okay, Cloud. We only have one thing available. Uh, Archer. It's only a 65% chance to... We're not even making him, to, him into an Archer, that's a funny thing. But I think we could try. You didn't make it? What the fuck, Cloud? Claude? You fucking bitch. Is it because I'm pronouncing your name wrong? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, we'll make Lorenz into a knight. That's what we're going to make him into. I have no more intermediate seals. Luckily, I have lots of gold. Lots and lots of gold. Because I have all these, uh... Shit available. These are not that cheap. Not that cheap at all, actually. Okay. That should be good for now. 
Uh, we have some items too that we want to probably make into a blacksmith once we get the blacksmith. When do we get the blacksmith again? Not for a while. I don't think it's for a few chapters. It'd be kind of nice if they let you have that like early on in the game, especially with New Game Plus. That would be nice, but uh, doesn't seem like it's happening. Cool. Okay, so Lorenz. Uh, Raphael, I think we're going to make into a fortress knight or a brawler. Yeah, we're making him into a brawler. He looks like a brawler. Like, it, it looks like... You know, he looks like a fucking gladiator. It's only logical. Stat bonus. Whoa. Why do you get magic? The fuck? Whatever. Uh, Ignatz is now level... Let's make him into... What is he? kind of wish we could see goals. Yeah, I wish we had goals on here. Memory serves me right. I think we're going to make him into, like, a... Uh, mortal savant, so probably a Myrmidon. Myrmidoni. I can't believe I. I don't fully agree with having uh, Lorenz as a Myrmidon or a mortal savant, but it's still funny. It's funny to think about. We also ran out of beginner seals. Well, that's a good thing. It means we just have so many people who are so capable. Uh, we're gonna make you. We can make you into a priest or a mage. I think we'll make you into a mage. Because uh, we have Marion who's going to become a priest. Nice. Her Very good. What do you... How do stat bonuses work? Whatever. I'm not even going to ask. Um, We have no beginner seals. <laughs> oh my god. Why do we have so little of everything? Uh, Leonie, make you into a cavalier. You can have a pretty good squad for this first uh, story mission, I have to say. You're gonna be in pretty good hands. Uh, Yuri will make into uh, probably just a thief. Yeah, probably a thief. Yeah, I think the Yuri. I mean, Yuri like literally is a thief, so. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good, pretty good way to spend it. I'm not sure how stat bonuses work. I should look those up. Because uh, I'm not, not entirely sure how those work. Everybody else can actually... Let's see. Yeah, I only really care about Marion and Hilda right now. Maybe Balthus. Okay, so we'll buy two more of these. Buy two, we'll buy three. Buy three more. I know doing these early on is kind of like, eh, boring, but... Yeah, you gotta do them. I do have a good amount of money. Because, uh, I think I had, like... One of the quests I did had, like, double rewards or something around it. Which is, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, we got a large bouillon. Pretty good, pretty good. Another bouillon. Um, probably give this steel lance to somebody who needs it. Who needs it? Not you, not you. Probably, yeah, probably, uh, Leonie. Yeah, Leonie definitely needs it. She's got some dog shit. Store. 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 Good. Um, let's see, we have some support classes available. We have a lot. Holy shit. Well, I did say I was going to do these as soon as I got them so I could stay consistent. And it looks like we got a lot of them, including one with uh, a Lysothea. Hmm. Professor, thank you for helping me with my training. I'd love to do this again if possible. Your advice is always so useful. Everyone thinks you're a wonderful teacher. You account for people's weaknesses while capitalizing on their strengths. Initially, I wasn't sure you paid too much attention to your students. Clearly, I was wrong. After all, were that the case, you wouldn't be capable of providing such useful feedback. I'll continue to learn and grow from your instruction, Professor. I just know it. You think I'm determined? Professor, I... Thank you. You're the only one who's ever praised me like that. I mean, 
people are always telling me I've got a knack for magic. If you can call the power of my crests a knack, they aren't wrong per se. Though bearing two crests isn't a gift I ever asked for. Anyhow, I've made a point to work harder than most and not rely too heavily on the power they bestow. So I find it frustrating that the only praise I seem to receive is directly related to that power. If you've noticed how hard I work, then well, it just... It makes me very happy. Well... You see... I... It is because... I am the only child of House Ordelia. I must do all I can for my family name. I'm determined to someday be of real value to them. And that day must come soon. I can't waste any time. I don't have much of it left. Anyway, I should be going. Thank you again for your help. <laughs> Ah, oh, isn't that sweet? So, Lysithea is also a level B, which means uh, we won't be seeing her for a very long time. That's okay though, I kind of like how they split it up between War Phase and uh, Politics Phase. Also, I learned somebody, so something to, uh, somebody told me something, and uh, it's actually very helpful. If you get somebody to level A, uh, they join you automatically. So I think that's a new game plus function, because obviously you can't get A until uh, pre-war. For the most part. Actually, can you get people to A? You actually might be able to, and I'm just full of shit. But I think for most people, you can't get them to A until post-war. Or, uh, like, during the war. So I'm not sure. Um, okay. Lorenz and... Okay, some of these... I'm not gonna lie, some of these people I am not interested in at all. Like, I don't find a couple of these people very interesting. I don't find Raphael very interesting. I don't find Ignatz very interesting. I don't find Leonie very interesting. So, in the essence of saving time, I'm just gonna, like, ignore those. I know that's gonna be like, what? How could you? But I just don't care. Like, I, I, I don't find them interesting enough as people. But I do like Lorenz and Hilda and Lysithea and Marion. Of course I like, you know, and, but uh, of course we're gonna skip these because we already did. Oh, we'll not skip this one. Oh, Cloud. Oh. Petra and Claude, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey there, Petra. Claude? Where are you? Where else? Wait, I'll meet you down there. Claude! I thought you were not able to climb the trees. True, and that is exactly why I worked like a madman to devise a new climbing technique. I have much admiration for that. To climb is a skill with value. Uh, what can I say? I just... Okay, so I may have cheated a little. By using my bow to shoot a rope over a branch, or a few branches, or all of the branches. But once I got up there and hauled up the ropes, it was the same result as if I'd climbed it your way. I am understanding. That costs more time, though, so it is not the best thing for hunting. But you are not harming the tree, so that is... an advantage. I am liking this technique. You're right. I didn't harm the tree at all. I'm surprised that impressed you. The tree has a spirit. If you hurt the tree, you will give its spirit anger. I see. I take it the people of Bridget have a close relationship with nature, then? Trees give us food and also shelter. We are needing them, and they are needing us. True. The people of Fodland believe everything is a blessing from the goddess. They've forgotten to be grateful to nature, too. Nature gives us life, sustains us. Without it, we couldn't breathe, couldn't live. It's everything. It's fine to pray to the goddess, but we have to respect nature too. Don't you think? Yes. I do not know this goddess, but I know nature. That is the knowing I prefer to have. You and me both. I sh they, they get shipped so hard and I love it. Because it, it's like the perfect ship. Like, they, they seem... Uh, somebody told me that you can actually... Some people will marry each other. Like, if you don't pursue a relationship with Cloud, I imagine Claude. I imagine he'll probably marry Petra. That's so cute. So adorable. Uh, let's do Lorenz and Marianne. Tell me, Marianne, do you have a love of flowers? Um, well, I don't dislike them. 
I've happened upon a spot that's just teeming with splendid blossoms. Would you like me to show you? I think I would rather stay. It would be for the best if you kept your distance from me. Well, perhaps I could pick a few of the nicest and present them to you. With a beautiful bouquet in your arms, your magnificence would rival even that of the goddess. I would never compare myself to the beauty of the goddess. I see. Well, I don't mind. Oh, that is a lovely handkerchief you've got there. Did you know that a handkerchief reflects the sensitivity of its owner? Yours tells me you have quite a refined sensibility. If you only applied yourself a little more to the rest of your ensemble, there is no doubt in my mind. If you admire my handkerchief so much, you may have it. Uh, no, please, that is not what I meant. It was a gift from my adoptive father. I didn't choose it for myself. I'm sure I don't share his refined sensibilities, though, considering how little he and I have in common. I have to go. Such beauty. And yet, with just a little polish, she'd be a marvel. If only she'd put in some effort. Hmm. I wonder. Indeed, I shall make it my mission to awaken her beauty. There is nothing that I, Lawrence Hellman Gloucester, cannot do. Yeah, I think we call that, um... Uh, just whatever. Whatever, Lorenz. I, I don't know what to say to you, bro. I think you need to work on your, uh... Work on your social skills a little bit, maybe. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. <laughs> He's so fucking stupid, but it's funny. Ah, there's yet another option. Lawrence, what are you doing? Oh, hello, Hilda. I'm using these pieces to represent soldiers on the battlefield. This will allow me to better visualize concepts of strategy. Very good. Is it fun? Oh, it is utterly engrossing. Look, swap out just certain pieces for others, and the board completely changes. Then, even considering the same types of units, employing different individuals calls for a new set of plans. Oh, I see. Or, I kind of see. It's hard for me to grasp really complex things like this. Nonsense. It's thanks to your many requests that I've been adapting my fighting style of late. Working to accommodate you has convincingly shown me how essential it is to rethink tactics on a continual basis. After all, the risk of getting hurt is greatly reduced if you are prepared for any situation. So now, I will be ready for anything. Lawrence, you're so wonderful, I'm at a loss for words. I'm not just saying that to flatter you either, honestly. Tell me something, Hilda. Did you make all of these ludicrous requests of me purely so that I might have the opportunity to develop myself? Because if so, I am deeply moved. Thank you for caring so thoughtfully and passionately for my personal growth. Um, you're welcome. <laughs> if you will permit me to return the favor, I do have one request to make of you. Will you hear me out? Uh, I'm not usually one for fielding requests, but I can make an exception in your case, I suppose. I would be so pleased to have the opportunity to observe you in action, in the heat of battle. Would you be so kind as to oblige me? Oh, very well. You've convinced me. But if it gets too intense, you'll help me out, right? Ah, uh, that sounded extremely lewd. Uh, yeah, that was something, I guess. Who's Lorenz gonna go with? That is, if he survives the, the war. Decisions and decisions and decisions is going to be a tough one, I do say. Uh, okay, let's do... God, Lorenz has even more. Uh, it's a big nuts, though, so we'll just... I just don't care. I know this sounds so rude, but I just... just don't care about these characters, man. They're so boring. Like, I, I definitely... There, there's a reason why I picked the Addressing Empire the very first time I played. And that's, that's simply because of the fact that I find every single one of the Addressians actually interesting. Maybe not like, you know, maybe not super interesting, but... Okay, I, I don't find Linhardt interesting. Never mind. But it, it's more like degrees of interesting, if that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just don't like... I'm just not going to do them. So I'm just going to skip them. Um... Nope. 
Nope, none of those two. Nope, none of you. Well, this makes it easy, at least. Makes it quick. Um, Claude and Hilda. Yes, Claude and Hilda. That sounds like a great one. Huh? Are you actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated studying. Oh, hush. It's just a letter from my brother. He sends them all the time. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as a great general of the Alliance? A true beacon of... Don't even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh-oh. Better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for you. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation in Elmira has settled down. Ah, the Elmirans, the Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. Nadir the Undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man, as far as I'm concerned. But my father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded my brother all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. A pain? Any celebration is something to be enjoyed. Celebration puts smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulated him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Fodlin. That's not far from the truth, you know. Why do you think the Almirans have been so quiet lately? They're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Fodlin a long time ago. You talk about it as though you've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. I'm privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me any day. My hand, my heart, even my neck. But if you want to know all of my secrets, you'll have to bear yours as well. The <laughs> fuck? That was so, that was so like, blunt. <laughs> Cloud, Cloud just doesn't give a shit. He's like, he's like, yep, I'm into it. Would I ship Cloud and Hilda? I think that's actually a very popular ship. I think like a lot of my friends talk about that one. Um, let's see, is there any we have missed which I'm actually interested in? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Yeah, these are all just people I don't care about. So, let's uh, finally get to the mission, shall we? I think we've had enough horsing around. Enough messing around. These were the ones I did, by the way. Battle in the Kingdom, Battle at Lake uh, Totus. It's actually cool, this was a brand new map. Yeah, additional auxiliary battle. So, that was pretty cool. Maybe I should have shown that one off, but... Really wasn't anything special, it was pretty much just a map, and that's all it was really, like with a bridge and typical bandits, nothing super special. Nothing super special or anything. Also, I probably should do the mission assistance because I remember that mission assistance works like, uh, you get, uh, the person gets support points instead of experience points. It really is an honor to accompany Catherine, wielder of Thunderbrand. I hear you're intimidating enough to silence the howling winds. You mean you don't know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. Why would Lord Lenato incite such a reckless rebellion? He had to have known he had no chance of winning. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. It happened about four years ago. The king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. And that about covers it, right? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them, and so he was handed over to the church for execution. 
Speaking from the church's perspective, we simply passed judgment according to our doctrine in place of the kingdom, which was in complete chaos. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They used the fog to slip past the Knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Yeah, this is like the only mission in the game, by the way, where you use the fog function, to my memory at least. Because I kept thinking, you know, I bought a, bu a bunch of torches, <laughs> and I never used them once. Not even once. There was no opportunity. There's literally not one mission in the game that uses fog. Except for this one. Maybe there'll be more in the DLC, but I was like, are you fucking kidding me? There's like nothing. Oh, all these people look fine. Yeah. Um, okay. I was sure repair some of this stuff, but don't have access to the blacksmith, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, this looks okay, I guess. Yeah, looks okay. Also, uh, I tried to level everybody up to 10, and I uh, kind of failed. We got pretty close, though, so we're going to want to get some kills with uh, Marion, Hilda, and uh, Ignat, so we can balance out the playing field a little bit. Because right now it's not really stacked in our favor. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! The conditions are the same for both sides, but we're at a disadvantage for not knowing the terrain. And disadvantage. With caution. Disadvantage. Your field of view. Low visibility maps on battlefields with thick fog units will not only be able to see enemies. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're talking about because we didn't, we didn't have one of these maps once. Stay focused. So I think they're kind of full of shits. Okay, let's Ready move up. Take advantage of the fog. This. Pretty much play this the same way I did it the first time, Who, where we just me? walk around and try and get Leave some, uh, me. try and get some good stuff sure going thing. here. Who me? Who me? I stand ready. I uh, will send one person over here. I guess we'll send probably probably send Felix over there. Let's Why did I say Felix? Uh, Yuri. <laughs> what the fuck? Who else? Felix. So this guy's gonna get shit on by Catherine. Yep. Shut up, buddy. Take it in the ass. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Thirty-one times four. God, that item, that weapon is so disgusting. Wonder if there's any way to get that item without killing Catherine. Probably in the Renown shop, I imagine. If I had to take a guess. Um, see if I can give this kill to somebody who needs it. Hilda, maybe. Um, can actually kill her. Too bad. Soften her up with Cloud, maybe. Doing a little spoon feeding. Spoon feeding some kills. Don't mind me. Very nice, so very nice. Yo, send Yuri over here to help uh, Catherine. Try and keep some. Try and keep the knights alive. Send you off on your own, cause we can. Whoa, 
one damage if that hits. Super scary. Yeah, there's a reason why I sent uh, Mr. Big Boy Raphael over there. Because I know he'd be facing lots of enemies. Hence why I don't mind if he takes a good amount of damage. Because he is super tanky. Yeah, look at this. 12 times 4. That's so crazy, man. Like, that's so good. We could actually... <laughs> we could actually kill this guy unarmed. But I'm not going to. Because it's a pretty low chance. Uh, let's see if we can get this kill to Hilda. Yeah, we can actually. Nice. Get her to level 10 and then I'll spoon feed uh, Ignatz and... What's her face? Miss, uh... Marion. Oh no, there's an enemy there. Oh no -y. Let's give the... Whenever we can, uh... Whenever we can get away with it, let's try and give the kill to Lysothea. Because uh, I do want her to be my mask, my mage carry. Yeah! If you look at Lysothea's stats, like... They're actually so good. Like, she has... Let's see here. She has two crests. Crest of Gloucester. Occasionally raises might during magic attacks. And sometimes raises might when using ca combat arts. It's like, she's like, meant to be a mage. Like, it's really broken. Really, really broken. Oh, there's a mage right in there. Oh, I see. That's a little awkward. Whoa, six damage. I'm so terrified. Lord Lenato, please don't die. Please don't die, Lord Lenato. the war, but it's the commoners who spill their blood first. Kind of an uh, interesting fact, by the way, about Ash. Speaking of Lord Lenato, Ash won't join you, or Ash will leave your party if you're not part of the Black Eagles in Chapter 15. Because he's so pissed off about Lord Lenato dying. It's kind of cool. It's kind of like a fun little fact. I like how they have those. Oh, it's a guy right there. Oh, shit. That scared the fuck out of me. Why the fuck is Ignat so far back? God damn. I don't want to kill him. I want to get a kill with Marion. Marion's very weak. That killed him? My fucking god, man. Really? This actually doesn't kill him either. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Got Ignatz to, uh... The fog is lifting as a result of the Dark Mage being defeated. Oh. I see. Nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Cause literally, we didn't even. This guy's stupid. We didn't even have. The fog wasn't our idea, moron. But there actually may be more to that than I think. He may have said that for a reason. Okay, yeah, it's good though. We can uh, start moving on and just. Nice, level 9 Marion. Just need to get Marion to 10. Then we're in a pretty good situation, I would say. 
Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, yo, I still want to get some kills. We gotta get a kill of Hilda, too. So I'm gonna try and bait them into us. Try and let them to get a little close. Alright, good. Oh, damn it. I shouldn't have done that. We want this guy to stay on, uh, Hilda. Sure thing. Leave it to me. I stand ready. Ready anytime. Ready anytime. Ooh, woo. Why'd I say that? <laughs> Why did I say that? The fuck is wrong with me? Okay, nice kill for Hilda, level 10. So close to level 10. So close. It's actually good though. Should be able to get uh, the kill here. Who, me? Me? What? One experience? Are you fucking Who, kidding me? How fucking unlucky. That is so unlucky actually. Very unfortunate. Let's get to it. Stay focused. I got this. That helps. What's that do? Stride. So any way for us to check? Um Allies gain five plus movement. Oh that's cool. Yeah, maybe I would use that more often, but uh, it seems a little uh circum circum circumstantary, is that a word? Seems like it's uh circumstantary, that's a word, right? Ready and willing. Circum- what the fuck is it? Circum- Uh, very specific circumstances. Whoa, you're gonna get me, bro. Calm down. We got a bloody kill with Hilda already? Or at least do enough damage to do something? Cause, uh, this sucks. <laughs> This fucking sucks. Level 10. Nice. Very nice. Uh, you need about 100 more XP. I want to get this before the next battle. Because I, 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 want, I want her to be a priest by then. So we could just tank this battle if we wanted to. It's kind of tempting. Kinda tempting. I think we will tank it. Hopefully we survive, or hopefully they survive. No, oh, that guy didn't survive. Let's see how they like this. Stop stealing the kills. Okay, some other people need the kills, not you. Actually, very tanky, all of you. Um, yeah, that would just kill. We don't want to kill. Is there any way to move where we don't get hit? Probably not. How did that kill? Oh my god. My team's too powerful. <laughs> my team's too fucking powerful. Stay focused. Okay, surely not. This is... Surely that this doesn't kill. Alright, good. Good. That's all I wanted. Is that so bad? Uh, 
That's not enough XP? Oh my god. I stand ready. How's that not enough? The thick. Sure thing. Uh, pretty tempting to take him out, but I really I really want us to have enough XP. Who me? I got this. Like I really I do want to. her I really do want to get her to level 10. Ready That'd anytime. be really nice. Leave it to me. Just so annoying Ready if you willing. It's really hard to level up healers because they don't get that much XP for healing. They get like no XP yeah. actually. So it's really depressing. Um Okay, is this enough gonna be enough healing? Oh my god, 13 heal. This fucking bitch is gonna come and kill everybody, so we gotta we gotta kill this guy. We gotta kill this guy, we gotta kill him quick. Oh, we could actually almost kill him. Yes, I know I've been deceived. I'm fully aware. He missed? He missed. Disgusting. No, assault troop. Okay, I just need one heal up. You. you have lost all sense of justice. You wanna fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. Okay, okay. Um please heal. Okay, good. Nice. So she's level 10 now. Which uh, we like to see. And we'll get the kill with me. Christoph, forgive me. Forgive me. Level 13, my favorite number. I never thought I'd see Lonato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. Received a secret book. I think that's... I don't remember what that does, actually. Secrets book. Goddess icon. Yeah, it's pretty easy to keep them alive. Unless you're playing on, like, Maddening or something, I guess. Very nice, very nice. That was a relatively easy battle. Relatively easy one. The, the, the story battles are so easy compared to the DLC ones. Nice work, Teach. Still, that fight left a foul taste in my mouth. That aside, did you see how Catherine fought? Agreed. I thought the power of the hero's relics must be exaggerated, but I was clearly wrong. Makes you wonder about that legend. Oh, it's nothing. Just the usual fanciful nonsense. An ancient relic that once cut a mountain in half with a single swing. That's what they say, anyway. But as amazing as Thunderbrand is, I don't think it fits that description. Apparently, relics can harness tremendous power for those with a compatible crest. Though, you can technically use one so long as you have any crest at all. Yeah, I don't know. Long story short, I'd like to try cutting a mountain in half someday. Ooh, are you talking about relics? You'll be able to use one soon, Claude. I just know it. After all, you've already been selected as the next head of House Regan. Easy there, Hilda. I don't know how apt soon is. My grandfather is still unbearably healthy. Oh, is this news to you, Teach? Yours truly was recently recognized as a legitimate child of House Regan. They possess one of the hero's relics too, though I've yet to see it. I officially joined House Regan only last year. Before then, I lived with my father. When I learned that my mother was the daughter of an Alliance noble, I was so surprised, I thought the whole world was pulling a fast one on me for a week. So that means your mother is Duke Regan's daughter, right? Where is she now? I can't say. My mother is currently living in a different world than the one she grew up in and has no desire to return home. Um, okay. You sure have a lot of secrets, don't you? I'm just keeping a promise to my parents. Make of that whatever you will. In exchange for my so-called secrecy, I'm free to do as I please. Which is why I decided to see what the other side of my family was like. 
That's how I found out about this strange crest I bear. Professor, Claude, it sounds like the troops will be withdrawing soon. We should return as well. We won. We should be celebrating. Instead, we're heading back with heavy hearts. Whoa there, what's the matter? You look as sad as a kitten without any yarn. If we hadn't done what we did, the rebel army would have followed this road all the way to the monastery. And they would have crushed all the little villages along the way. We stopped that from happening. You should be proud. Sorry to intrude, but this incident may be more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect. But the content is too disturbing to ignore. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. Uh, so trustworthy, Lady Rhea. I am glad to see that so you So trustworthy. Safely. The goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? You are just as skilled as I had hoped. There is no need for modesty. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a what? valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's right of rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best. But a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. That is most reassuring. You have my gratitude. The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students. But the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Be on the lookouts, because there's definitely not going to be a Flame Emperor coming, Pepe Laugh. Eh, I think that's a few chapters too early, but you get the idea. <laughs> you get the idea. Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Right of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the blue sea star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garag Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. I'm telling you, I would love to have those as actual paintings. I think I really like that style. You know, obviously I don't know shit about art, but... Really is nice. <laughs> really pretty. You received uh, 5,000 for the... Sorry. 5,000 for the, uh, Church of Saros. Nice, okay, good. You just get so much money because you're at a stupidly high professor level early on. Okay, 
So our task this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery in support of the knights, who are busy trying to stop an assassination plot. Here's the thing. I don't think the bad guys are really trying to assassinate the Archbishop. Precisely. That secret note with the assassination plot on it? There's just no way that was real. People don't just carry around secret notes. Someone wanted us to find it. You really think the assassination plot is just a distraction? Oh yeah, that makes complete sense. But then, what are they really after? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so worried. Let's see. It probably involves somewhere that will be empty during the Rite of Rebirth, yeah? Since the ceremony is at the Goddess Tower, it follows that everywhere else at the Academy will be severely understaffed. Do you think they're after the Church's donation money? I hear noble families tend to donate quite generously. My bet's on the dining hall. It's a treasure trove of delicious food. It makes me angry just thinking about them getting their grubby hands on it. Let's split up and look around. I'll keep an eye on the reception hall. You should get in some training if you have the time, Hilda. There's a good chance we'll have to fight. Uh, well, I'm not the only one who needs to train here. It's not right to single me out like that. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and that little go-getter there is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, she's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. I need you to join my party stats. I think she can join our party at level 15. I think I think most of the knights can join at level 15. A few exceptions, of course, like uh, Catherine and whatever, but... Uh, we only have one option today, explored. I just swore they really are, like, cucking me on the options. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. Okay, so we take this time now to make uh, Marion into a priest. Because that's what she's gonna be, and that's what's accurate. I feel like if you took a, I feel like if you looked at the lore, it would only make sense for Marion to be a priest. Um, we'll make Ilta into probably a. Oh, we don't have any seals. Fucking a, man, this seal crap. Probably make her, probably make her into a brigand. Yeah. I think I think Hilda would be a good brigand. You know, it's kind of just like, kind of like lazy frontliner, just kind of like sitting there like, eh, you guys can come to me. That makes sense. And everybody else, I think that's the only one we have. Oh, Ignatz too. So I'll pick up uh, Intermediate Seal, two Intermediate Seals. I'm gonna buy myself a couple of Master Seals too, because these things are fucking expensive, but they also have a limited amount each month. So yeah. What are these items again? Probably increases dexterity by two. Uh, so we'll put these on myself, obviously. Because they will help with recruiting people. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. More seals. Go to certifications. Uh, make Ignatz into a... What are we going to make him into? A savant, right? So I'll probably make him into a... Or probably a mortal savant. So, maybe make him into a mage for now. Black magic. Be nice to have some more magic. I think magic is like one of the best things in the game because it does really well against knights. And knights are really annoying to deal with. So, I think that's a pretty good, uh... I can't... Pretty good usage of my seal. Uh, then we have... Yeah, we're gonna make Hilda. Hilda into a brigand. What do you mean I don't have a seal? Didn't I buy two? How many did I buy? Did I only buy one? Are you fucking serious? No way, that- wait, what? Did I really only buy one? I literally have one on my body right now, what? Oh, do we need to- wait, no. What's going on here? No. Wait, what? Wait. I am very confused. 
Oh, we need to make her into a beginner first, I see. Okay, that makes a little sense. Yeah, we never made her, made her into a beginner, okay. Wait a second, what is this? Oh, you can only take one certification exam per day. Oh. Well, that's okay. Um, that probably makes sense now that I think about it. Yeah. Uh, that most certainly does make sense. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Uh, we'll explore now. Yeah, we'll explore. Lots of large fish and head chef challenge. Sounds very interesting. Also take the time to see how many renown points I got. Oh, they got 700? That's it? F the fudge? A hero's relic. Quite so. The stone within the sword. A glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. Oh, it's nothing. Nothing to be concerned about. Uh, so we do have... We have some more of these side quests. These, uh, special side quests. Yeah, it's from Honor this time. I like these side quests. It's a good way to get some renown. It's kind of annoying they hit it behind a paywall, though. Typical uh, Nintendo behavior. Hey, Professor. How's it going? Making lots of coin? I'd love to catch up, but I'm... You have a weird voice actor. Like, it, it sounds like she's like... I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. Like, I'm not trying to be rude, but it, it sounds a little weird. Let's get my skill level up to see. I still Good. Hey, Professor. I'd love to... I'd love to catch up. Hey. It, about a favor? it seems that there are some rare valuable secrets circulating on the battlefield. I'd like you to collect a number of those for me. Enemies in auxiliary and quest battles are now in position of valuable secrets of some kind. Steal or collect three drop valuable secrets. Interesting. Hmm. That's kind of a unique one. That's kind of a cool one. <laughs> Professor. Lady Rhea lifts the spirits of all the people of Fodlin. We cannot allow her to come to any harm. Yes, yes, very generic. Um, probably want to get you, because I'm not going to get my flying up. Actually, I looked it up. Luckily, there is a site which shows uh, statistics for what level everybody needs to be to properly recruit them. And it's not, uh, Ingrid's not that bad. She only requires level D flying, so it's not too bad. Uh, I'm going to check all the quests though, before I do that. Weapons available. Okay, good. I'd like some help from someone who can keep a secret. Cloud. Claude, I mean. Claude. Uh, got a secret for you. Out our foe's intentions, we need information. Lots of it. Or any, at the least. For now, try going around the monastery and looking for suspicious locations. You should also try chatting folks up to see if they know anything. Once we've got things narrowed down, let's meet up and compare notes. Can I ask you a favor? Uh, if I'm gonna figure out what the enemy's after, I'll need some more to go on. Keep an ear to the ground around the monster for me so what you can dig up. Sure, buddy, I can do that for you. Talk to people in the monster to help figure out the enemy's true aim. Yeah, the reason why I would like to do these quests right away is because normally you just... It's like just more talk to people quests, and I'd rather do that before I go around looking for people. Tournaments start this week. Woohoo. Let's see if I can do the tournaments hey, a little better. Oh, hey, Professor. I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed, stuff like that. Seems uh, like a not healthy relationship. Do you know about the fighting tournaments here at the monastery? I hear anyone can get involved. Oh, I know, you and I should sign up. Eh, I don't know about you, but I'll sign up. I'll sign up, maybe. Go see uh, Felix and Yuritza. Actually, we'll do the uh, tournament. I like how there's all that crap on the floor, just like <laughs> randomly sitting around. Um, beginner sword tournament today. Probably, yeah, Yuri. Definitely Yuri. Level six or higher. He's level eleven. So this should be pretty simple. Should be a simple dimple. This does take up a time slot, but eh, it's fun to do. Let's dance. Face it. I'm better. It's uh, fun to do. Smile, do you really crit twice in a row? Not too shabby. Seven percent. You know how low that is. 0 0.07 times 0 0.07. Who's <laughs> 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 Face 
Bada bing, bada bing. This one is so easy. Wow. Get some money for this. We don't. We don't do this for the money though. We actually do it for the sword. Uh, you literally don't get. Like don't you get professor points too, I guess, but pretty useless. Wow, three hundred gold. Nice. Good. Got an axe. We got some good stuff from that. Alright, you guys, we'll uh, call this one quits for here and continue next time, but uh, made some good progress, and we shall continue to do so in the next video. Toodles.